Hello, good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. You're fine. So what about your day? How was it? Tiring? So, so happy? Uh, happy. It was okay. Okay, so you're happy? Well, I'm glad that you are here. Okay, so let's see. Good evening, Irma. Good evening, Erwin. Uh, Yvette. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Good evening. So, good evening, Liliana. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with today's class, and we are going to start with the quote of this day. So let's see. Um, Marco, help us reading the quote of the day. Good evening. Um, quote of the day. Happening, happiness is not by chance, but uh, by choice. Perfect. Thank you, Marco. Happiness is not by chance, but by choice. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so happiness, felicidad. Okay. So la felicidad no es de casualidad, sino que es por elección. All right. So happiness is not by chance, but by choice, elección. Okay. So I hope you are happy. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class and today's agenda. We have the warm up, we have vocabulary, we have grammar, we have practice, and we have a couple of exercises. Okay, so then we are going to start and we are going to start with a stop the bus. Okay, Tania. So we are going to start with a stop the bus. But this time we are going to play with sentences, not with words, but sentences. Okay. So I need you to write down, uh, send it in the chat. Okay. In the chat, one simple present sentence, one sentence using the verb to be. Yes. I'll give you. Two minutes, okay? So one sentence using simple present and one using verb to be. If you want, send it in the chat. And if not, just tell me the sentence, okay? Speaking, okay? So you have two minutes. One sentence in simple present and one using the verb to be, okay? Cuando ya tenga las dos, me dice stop the bus. Two sentences. Dos oraciones. De lo que hemos visto. Simple present and verb to be. Okay, so let's see. Mm, Tanya. Mm -mm. No, okay, so I am go to work every day. Mm, I am go to work every day or I go to work every day. Okay, Erebin, I always take a shower at 6 a.m. Suleyma, he goes to school every morning. Okay, and what about the one uh, using the verb to be? What about the one using the verb to be? Mm -hmm. 
So I see that Erebin, yes, the simple present tense, perfect. Suleima, perfect. But the verb to be? Tanya, I am go to work every day. We need to say, I go to work every day. We need to remove, um, okay? You need to remove, um. Yes, like that. I go to work every day. Perfect. And the one using the verb to be, guys? You are missing one? One sentence using the verb to be. I always take a bath at 7 a.m. Perfect, Irma. I work in the morning. I always drink coffee. Yes, Yvette. Yes, Christian. Yes. She, okay, Marco, the letter S. She works every day, okay? I go to my class. Yes, the second one is perfect, but the first one, she works. He is a singer. Excellent, Suleima. Yes, he is a singer. Liliana, I always study every, okay, I always, I always study, period, okay? Punto. Okay, I always study, period. Erebin, does Erebin watch TV? Okay, that is a question, okay? But now, sentence using verb to be, the verb to be. She always, okay, Yvette, the letter S, she always takes takes, uh -huh, takes a bus at 6 a.m. Yes, takes, perfect. Okay, so I can see that most of you remember about the simple present, okay? But what about the verb to be? I just see Suleyma that she sent a sentence using the verb to be in the other ones. I work every morning. Yes, Jocelyn. And the sentence using the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so I want to say, are you a doctor? Perfect, Suleyma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm glad that most of you sent the one using the simple present tense, okay? La mayoría me mandó el presente simple. Perfecto, okay? Excellent. Pero el verbo to be? Okay, he is a teacher. Excellent. Yes, that is the verb to be. Mm -hmm. He is a teacher. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's see. All right, guys. So today we are going to start with this exercise. Okay, she is tall, perfect, yes. Okay, so we are going to start by making a review. Okay, we're going to make a review about the simple present tense with the third person, okay? So let's see, we have number one. We are going to click on the correct option. So we have number one. Uh, number one, read it and give us the answer, Yvette. Bo, otherwise, drink tea in the morning. Okay, so Bob always drink or drinks? Drink. Okay. With S or without S? Drink. Okay, so with S or without S? Sing it. Oh, okay, so diga without S. Without S. Okay, but why? Why without S if Bob is he third person? Terceras personas. ¿Y qué hacemos con las terceras personas? Con S. Drink. S. We add S. 
drinks. Okay. Yes. So read it one more time, Yvette. Bob Airways drinks tea in the morning. Perfect. Number two, Marco. Eh, sería el, el dos. Ok. What does she, she like? Ok. With S or without S? Um, uh, likes. Likes? Likes. Ok. Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. What what does she like? Mm -hmm. Uh what what does she uh, no uh say so yeah, like like like, like sing, sing, sing la S. Without okay, so without okay, so uh let me see. I'm going to send without cuando me quiera decir sin S without s con s with s okay remember and if you don't know teacher i am not sure okay no estoy seguro i am not sure okay marco can you please help us reading the question read read the question Perdón, este teacher que le que. Oh, yes. Read, read the question. Ah, the, what, what does she like? She like? What does she like? Excellent. What does she like? Perfect. Okay. Number three, volunteer. Number three. Good teacher. Yes. My sister doesn't play tennis. Excellent. My sister doesn't play tennis. Why, Irving? Why doesn't and why not don't? Porque hablo de mi hermana, o sea, tercera persona. Okay, now explain that to me in English. <laughs> no sé. Yes, you know. Uh -huh. Because. Uh, because. My sister. My sister. Is third person. Third person. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. Okay. Tercera person. persona. Yes. Because my sister is third person. She. So we use doesn't. Excellent, Irving. Okay, Thank number you. four. Okay, number four. Volunteer. Number four. Number four. They often visit their, their grandfather, grandparents at weekend. At weekends, okay. At uh, weekends. Okay, they often visit their grandparents at weekends. Okay, Christian, why visit and no visits? Why? Visit. Okay. Eh, porque no es tercera persona. Ok, because it's not third person. Because it's not third person. Very good. Number five. Number five, volunteer. Number five. Eh, we sometimes eh, go the, to the ice rink. Ice rink. Repeat after me and say ice, ice ring. Excellent. Teacher, and what is the meaning of ice ring? What is the meaning of ice ring? Pista de hielo. Ice ring. Okay. So, yes, we sometimes go. No goes because go, we. We is plural. So, go. Number six. 
Where does your parents come from? Okay, where does your parents come from? Are you sure your parents, plural or singular? Plural. Okay. okay, plural. So if your parents, plural, two, right? So do we use does or do? With plural. Do? Yes. Where do your parents uh -huh. come from? Because your parents, this is your subject. Ese es su sujeto. Your parents. So, two. Mom and dad. Your parents. Sus padres. Okay. So, we have two. Two. Two people. Okay, so your parents, they, okay, that's why we use do. So number seven, number seven. Do you want to go home? Excellent. Is, is for a single, a singular question. Okay, all right. So do you want to go home? Perfect. Yes, Franklin. Excellent. Okay, very good. And number eight. I don't, I don't. watch television after school. Excellent. I don't watch television after school. Very good. Okay. Now repeat after me. Repeat after me. Okay. Bob always drinks tea in the morning. Mm -hmm. Bob always drinks tea in the morning. Number two, what does she like? What does she like? And that intonation, la intonación, what does she like? What does she like? Intonation, because it is a question. Intonation, entonación, porque es una pregunta. My sister doesn't play tennis. Mm -hmm. They often visit their grandparents at weekends. We sometimes go to the ice rink. Ice rink. Mm -hmm. Where do your parents come from? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go home? Intonation. Do you want to go home? Intonation. Okay. And the last one. I don't watch television after school. Perfect. Okay. Now let's continue. Uh, now, uh, teacher, well, yes? uh, teacher, uh, el significado de weekend. Weekends? Weekends. Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Okay. Fin de semana. Mm -hmm. Weekends, yes. Without S, without S, fin de semana. But with S, fines de semana. Plural, plural. Okay, so now, uh, number two. We're going to complete the questions and the sentences, the answers, okay? So number one, WH questions. WH. WH. So, who? What is who? Quien. All right. Who? It's a person. WH question. So, who? ¿Cuál sería la palabra que iría aquí? Simple present. Who? Auxiliary verb. Who? Does. 
do da Sally verb. Visits. Visits with S or without S? Visit. Visit. Okay. Visit. Exactly. Because we have auxiliary verbs, so S is not necessary. Okay? Very good. So, who does Sally visit in Spain? Who? She. Verb. Visit. Okay. Visit like that or visits? Visits. Visit. With S, right? Because he's third person. She. She visits her aunt and uncle. Excellent. Number two. What is the question? The WH. Is it WH or is it just a normal one? Look at the, at the answer. Mire la respuesta. So it says, no, he doesn't. So, which is the auxiliary verb? Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't? Oh, no. Doesn't, no. Does Tom? Verb. Where? Oh, go. No. Go. Yes. Go. 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 Yes, because we already have auxiliary verb, so sí. ES is not necessary. Es no? Yes. yes, correct. So, does Tom go to school by bus? No, he doesn't. He? He, go. he go go to school on foot. Okay. Go or goes? Go. go. Goes. Yes, because it's third person and we have positive sentence on foot on foot okay a pie walking caminando okay now number three what what does uh -huh. what does she she watch on tv she watch on tv okay verb she She watches. Does. Okay, so he watch, uh, she watch or she watches? Watch. She watches. Excellent. She watches the news, but she? Negative. Not watches. Oh, no. Doesn't. 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 Watch. 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 So, Popperas. Teacher, and what is the meaning of soap operas? Telenovelas. Soap operas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four. Auxiliary verb. Do. Do. Do they verb? Like, like, they like swimming. swimming. Yes, they do, but they negative. Not like. Not like. Auxiliary verb. Don't, don't like. Don't, don't, don't like. like running. Excellent. Okay. Number five. When auxiliary do you, do when do. Do you go to a football to match? A football match. Uh -huh. match. I, I, I go got... to a football match on Sunday. Perfect. Remember that uh, with the positive sentence, we only add subject and verb in the complement. Okay. Very good. Was it difficult? No, right? Was really easy. Okay, guys. Attendance. Okay, attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. 
Okay. Cristian Marcelo Ramírez Morán. Present. Okay, thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Okay. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you, Irving. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Ok. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Present. Thank you. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Ok. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let me share my screen again. Give me one second. Okay, guys. So now let's move and let's talk about the following. So we are going to start reading. Okay. Um, let's see. Who wants to read? Do I have volunteers? Who wants to read? Mm -hmm. I. Okay, Franklin, go. Help us reading the whole paragraph, everything. Okay. Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He start work at uh, 9 a.m. 8? 8 a.m. every day. He finish work at 6 p.m. every day. He is like very close to the bank. Mm -hmm. He walks to work every day. His brother and sister always work the back book day though not like close to the back. They drink cars to the world. They start work at 9 a.m. in the back. Tom is no Tom is the boss. He helped all the works and things they what to do. He likes his job. He is also very good at his job. Money constumber like Tom and they say help to him. They they come to the back. Tom like to talk to const Customer and make they feel happy. Tom really like his job. Okay, thank you. All right, so observations, okay? Franklin, repeat after me and say A-M. A-M. A. 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 M. Drive. Drive. Finishes. Finishes. Walks. 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 Live. 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 Very good. Thank you. Okay. So Tom's job. Okay. As you can see, we have verbs in third person. So we have S, E S, 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 and we also have normal normal verbs because we we are talking about plural his brother and sister 
two people. So as is not necessary. They drive as, mm -mm, because we are talking about they, okay? They start, now he helps, yes, because he is he, third person, okay? I'm going to read it just for you to listen to pronunciation, okay? So it says, Tom's job, Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He starts work at 8 a.m. every day. He finishes work at 6 p.m. every day. He lives very close to the bank. He walks to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank, but they do not live close to the bank. They drive cars to work. They start work at 9 a.m. In the bank, Tom is the boss. He helps all the workers and tells them what to do. He likes his job. He is also very good at his job. Many customers like Tom and they say hello to him when they come to the bank. Tom likes to talk to customers and make them feel happy. Tom really likes his job. Let me ask you, what time does Tom start work? What time? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Perfect. Now, give me complete sentences. Deme oraciones completas. So, what time does Tom start work? He starts work at 8 a.m. every day. Hmm? So, does Tom drive a car to work? They drive cars to work. Okay, so the question is, does Tom drive a car to work? Does Tom, Tom, does Tom drive a car to work? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. So how does Tom go to work? How? How? How does he go to work? How? How? Look at this. He walks. To work every day? Yes. Yeah, so he walks to work every day. Do you remember that yesterday we were checking how do you get to work? And you said, hey, I go to work by car. I go to work by bus. So Tom walks. Okay. So now number three. Does Tom live close to the bank? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Tom live close to the bank? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Are you sure? Yes, he does. He lives he yes, live he... very he... close to the bank. Okay, he lives. He lives, yes, he does live very close to the bank. Okay, yes, he does. He lives very close to the bank. Thank you. Number four, does Tom talk to customers? Does Tom talk to customers? Mm -hmm. 
Tom yeah. um, likes to talk to consumer and um, make Tom feel happy. Yes. Okay. So, does Tom talk to customers? Yes, he does. Tom likes to talk to customers and make them feel happy. Perfect. And the last one. How does Tom feel about his job? How? How does Tom feel about his job? Mm -hmm. How? How does Tom feel about his job? Tom re really likes his job. Okay. Tom really likes his job. So he feels happy because he likes his job. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. And right now, let's move to the uh, to this, okay? To the book. So we are going to um, we are going to continue in pairs, but first we are going to explain what you are going to do. Okay. So as you can see, it says read the information about each person's activity at the workplace. So we have Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. So they create software. They repair computers. They install antivirus. What? They don't, okay? They don't sell computer. Well, they don't sell computer programs. They don't exchange. What is the meaning of exchange? Exchange means intercambiar. They don't exchange information about programs. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. What about Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto? They keep track on the cells. They write reports. They, they, Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto, they buy new merchandise. Teacher, what is merchandise? Mercadería. Okay. Now, they don't receive money from sales. Teacher, what is the meaning of sales? Ventas. So they don't receive money from sales. They don't decide what to buy. Teacher, what is the meaning of decide? Decidir. Teacher, and buy, comprar. So they don't decide what to buy. Now, your uh, work right now is that you are going to answer those questions in pairs. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Oneida and Nelly, do they work with softwares? Yes, they. Yes, they do. do. Excellent. Okay, number two. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Not they don't. No, they don't, okay? What do they do with the antivirus? They install. They do not sell. They install, okay? And then you are going to continue with three, four, five, and six, okay? So in this case, you are going to practice with your partner. I'll give you two minutes, okay? And then we're going to come back, okay? Two minutes for you to practice. And then we're going to come back. 
So here we go. Hi, Marcelo. Hi, Marcelo. Ten apagado el micrófono, creo. O no sé si no me escuchas. No, no te escucho nada. No. ¿Me escuchas tú? Solo se me enseña si me escuchas tú. Sí, yo soy el que no te escucho, entonces. No, no, qué bárbaro. Vamos. ¿Pero por qué te parece el micrófono apagado? Marco. Uh, Marco. Yes, did, teachers. Yes. Did you receive the invitation to room five? ¿Recibió la invitación a la sala cinco? Teacher. Mm. Yes. Es que no, yo, yo no, estoy no, en, no. Disculpe, yo estoy en dos salas, como siempre yeah. me conecto de dos aparatos. Ajá. Entonces no sé ah. en cuál quedar. Marco, you should go to room five. Usted debería estar en la room five, pero no recibió la invitación. Es que cuando presioné el botón para minimizar la, la pantalla fue que me salió el, 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 ah. la invitación. Ok, don't worry. I'm going to move you right now. Ok. There you go. Teacher, siempre me quedo en esta o me paso a la sala uno? Uh, uh, room one. Room one. Yes. Okay. With Johnny. With Johnny. Perfecto. Okay. Brian Antonio. Okay, let me see. Hello, Brian. Buenas noches. Hello, good evening, Brian. How are you? Estoy terminando de cenar. Okay, <ríe> Estoy bueno. la cámara apagada. Ah, eh, mire, creo que nos hace el favor de pasarnos el link de la clase. Es que en el grupo <ríe> está un poco complicado encontrar. Ok, no me preocupes. Déjame send it right here, ok? Give me one second. Ahí. Ok, let me see. Uh, there you go. Open it. Solo tenemos que responder las preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. ok, two minutes and then we'll go back. Okay, just two minutes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Are you practicing with Johnny? Eh, se fue Johnny. O sea, sí está allí, pero como está en el trabajo, se le olvidó. Okay, okay, let's practice together, okay? Let's practice together. Okay, so number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Eh, sería no, he don't. Oh, do Ricardo and no. Max, two. Do Ricardo oh, okay. and Max. Eh, sería yes eh, 
-hmm. So okay. do Ricardo, Ricardo and Max, mm -hmm. do they get money from sales? Money from sales? Mm, look at this. And, um, mm -hmm. They don't receive. They don't. Uh, receive. They don't receive. Mm -hmm. So, no, they don't. No, they no receive. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, they don't. I'm going to send it. No, they. Yo el día de ayer no me pude conectar, teacher, porque se me cayó el internet. Oh, really? Okay. Sí, por eso solo estuve en una parte de la clase. Oh, okay. But I'm happy that you are here, okay? Me alegra que esté aquí. Gracias. Okay. So now, no, they don't. Okay? No, they don't. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. eh, siempre que, que, se, que se dice no o yes, siempre va la, la coma y después lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Correct. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? No, they don't. don't. Are you sure? Look at the, at the chart. Mire los cuadritos. Okay. Uh, so sería... Yes. They... They... Do. Yes, they do. Okay, so yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Now, this one. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Uh -huh. do no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Are you sure? Ricardo and Max. No, they don't. Right? No, they don't. Just Oneida and Nelly. Right? Oneida and Nelly, yes, they repair computers. You see? Okay. okay. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? install yes they don't don't they don't. yes yes, yes they, they do oh, yes they yes, do they okay yes they do okay well they install antivirus so if Antivirus is the same as programs. Yes, they do. Pero son, es un antivirus lo mismo que un programa? Eh, no. Okay. So, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Sería Oneida. Eh. <clears throat> oh, my dad. Yes. Are you, sure? program. Are you sure? They do install antivirus. Ah, mm -hmm. Bad program. Me con <laughs> mm -hmm. So, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Oneida. No, they. Don't. No, programs. Solamente, no, they don't. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, remember, okay. Remember, uh, Marcelo, that in this case, it is a closed question. Es una pregunta cerrada. So, vamos a decir, yes, they do or no, they don't. ¿Y por qué utilizamos el they? Because we are talking about two people, Oneida and Nell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero y en, en ese caso que, pre, que hace las dos preguntas de dos personas diferentes, aunque la otra sí lo haga, siempre diríamos que no. Uh, 
No, porque en este caso, aquí está hablando de ambos. Oneida, uh -huh. chicas, en ah, ya, ya. Sí, ¿Sí? Es cierto, ya le entendí. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. So, let me call the class, ok? Give me one second, I'm going to call them so we can continue with the second activity. Ok, okay. do you have any question? Do you have any question? Eh, sí, solo, solo en ese, en el de la pregunta cerrada. Ah, ok, ok, yes. So just remember that, ok, that in this case, since we are talking about two people, they, ok, they, very good. Okay. All right, so let's see, Yvette, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Jocelyn, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, Marco, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No, oh, they don't. No, they don't. Why not, Marco? Why not? Um, porque eh, ellos solo instalan antivirus. Okay. So, in English, Marco, no, because. No, because. They install. They install. Antivirus. Antivirus. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. That was the answer. Very good, Marco. Perfect. Okay. So, Brian, do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Uh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. So, let's see. Do Ricardo and Max write reports, Tanya? Uh, yes, they do. Excellent. Erica, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they not. No, they, they don't. Done. Don't. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we are going to create, create yes, no questions. Okay, so number one. Do you work company? Do you work in a company? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Or no, yes, you don't. I do. Okay. Yes, or yes, no, I don't. Okay. So number two, question. Do they take product? Okay, do they check products? Answer? No, no they don't. No, they don't. Perfect. Number three. Number three. Do we live in customers? Do we live in customers? Yes, we do. Perfect. Number four. Do I buy new material? Materials? No. No. I do. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. No. Okay. Remember, we have just no questions and we have the short answers. Okay. Irma, help us read in the questions and Jose, the answer. So every single time Irma uh, asks a question, cuando Irma haga la pregunta, Jose, you answer with the short answer that we have right here. Okay, go, Irma, okay. number one. Do you work company? Oh, this one. This one. Um, this one. Do. 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 Do you work? Oh, no, this one. Look at the screen. Mira la pantalla. Ah, ah, yes. okay. Do you get, uh, do you get earning? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, next. 
do you call of other company? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. She is asking you, okay? Ask yes. Next. Do, do, do they transport the product? Okay. Do you transport the product? Do you? Uh, do you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. In the last one. Do you we do you we check the police? Do you check the policies? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Those are just examples. Solo son ejemplos. Okay. So, do I get up early? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. And look at the spelling and the writing. Fíjese cómo se escribe. We have a coma. Okay, good. Next. Okay, so Brian, help us reading the examples. Just the examples, Brian. Read the examples. All right. Uh, does, does she ask for assistance? And with the, with the answer or only the question? Uh, the answer as well. Okay. And yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Does, uh, does he drive the truck on weekends? Yeah, he does, or no, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, yeah, she does, or mm -hmm. no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Does our company check the police? Yes, he does, or no, it, it doesn't. Okay, thank you. Okay, just don't forget that the pronunciation of this is does does okay does okay and this one is policy. with the age with the age does uh, exactly yes brian like that okay now let's create questions based on the answer so yes he does he fixes the ac on friday which is the question which is the question do he fix text the AC on Friday? Okay, Brian, do does, or, does, does, yeah, does. Does. Sorry, yes. does he fix the AC on Friday? Perfect, excellent. Number two, yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Does she send many? Send many emails to customers. Perfect. Does she send many emails to customers? Does yes, she, send she does. She sends many emails to customers. Number three. Does, does she clean the first, the first room only? Answer. Answer. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Perfect. Number four. Question. He does uh, keep track on the cell. Go again, Tanya. Again. Uh, yes, he does. Oh, no, the question. No, the question. Yes. Uh, does he keep track on the cells? Uh -huh. Answer? Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the cells. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. So you see? Easy. It's not difficult. Now is your turn. Teamwork. In pairs, you are going to create a morning routine for each person according to their profession. You need to create five sentences per each. So, Susan and Anne, and they are doctors. Raquel, she is a secretary. And Mario, he is a shopping assistant. 
you are going to write down, va a escribirla, okay? So, five sentences, routines, okay? Rutina de ellos, according to their profession, de acuerdo a su profesión. What do they do in the morning? ¿Qué hacen en la mañana ellos? Okay? Do you have questions before we go to other rooms? I'm going to move you. Do you have questions? No questions? Okay, perfect. So here we go. operaciones mm. oh. la rutina de ellos do some um, ah. que le podemos poner a uh, yes tell me eh, Dice, solamente que no entendimos bien lo último que dijo de que Lo primero sí lo entendimos, que es cinco oraciones con profesiones. Yes. Pero de ahí dijo algo sobre el trabajo o algo así, no sé. Ah, yes. Okay, so, as you can see, we have Susan and Anne. They are doctors. Raquel, she is a secretary. And Mario, he is a shopping assistant. So, what I, I need you to do is that you are going to create their morning routine according to their profession. ¿Qué va a ser? Va a ser cinco actividades que ellos hacen de acuerdo a la profesión que está eh, viendo acá. De cada uno, de cada uno de ellos. Yes. Ok, ya lo entendí. Ah, y siempre, del, siempre haríamos las cinco oraciones de, aparte de esas. Yes, five, five, and five. For example, 15. 15. So, okay. for, for example, they are doctors. So, what do they do in the morning? Desinfection and uh, clean. Okay, very good. They clean. Okay, and you start. Excellent, like that. Five, five. Five. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Va, entonces. Sería cinco oraciones de cada Ajá. uno de ellos. De los... Sí, vale, como le decía, lo primero entonces sería como desinfectar, bueno, hoy en día desinfectar su, su clínica, ¿verdad? Porque le dijo a ella, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 correcto. Sería lo que decía ella. Me la repite la oración, por favor, para anotarla. Ah, sí. Quiero ver. Ay, ya me olvidó. Qué rápido. Qué ver. Era clean. Ah, no, desinfection. A la desinfection clinic. No sé. Yo creo que por ahí andaría. Um, Sería Fields. Ok. Sí. Fields. Desinfection. Ah, mm. to clinic. To clinic. Por ahí. Creo que, creo que se escribiría. Mm. ¿O cómo le, le dio ahí? Eh, sí, ya la anoté. Uh -huh. Ok. So, in this case, remember that you can also use your dictionary and everything, ok? Puedo utilizar todas sus herramientas. So, disinfect. Mm. Dairy clinic. Dairy clinic. Dairy clinic. 
Yeah, la clínica de ellos, right there. Uh -huh. Remember that you can use your, your dictionary, everything. Put, utilizar todo lo que quieras, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. That was... And, and I'm mm -hmm. Susan and Susan and I'm Shank. Mm -hmm. They status elf. Elf. No sé si se pronunciará así. Elf. Health. Salud. Health. Health. Yes. Health. Uh, Susan and I'm a thanks people. Very good, yes. Okay. Ahorita eh, solo esa es mucho. <ríe> okay. Eh, Very good. Y tienen que ser cinco de Susan, cinco de Raquel y cinco de Mario. Yes. Write them down. Escríbalas. Okay. Right, write them down. Remember to use third person or plural. Okay. Cuando sea tercera oh. persona, tercera persona. But Susan and Anne, plural. Okay, plural. So, no S. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And um, Susan and um, uh, pueden hacer doctores. Ya pusimos chequear, atienden. What else? Mm -hmm. Investigate. You can investigate mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Investigate. Mm -hmm. eh, you can investigate. You can use your dictionary. Puedo utilizar su diccionario. You can investigate. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. eh, okay. From night. Ay, no, ya no van a estar acá. No, no, todavía no. no, no, <laughs> todavía no. <laughs> you have time. Yeah. Don't worry. You have time. No, lo digo yo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sería the take pumpkin from frog night. I am. Uh -huh. uh, I am. I am. Uh -huh. I am. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like those. Please. Okay. Eh, la otra sería. Quizás. Este... También lo que hacen ellos es este, eh, los horarios de las medicinas, los medicamentos. Ok, eh, uh -huh. rece recetan quizás. No, no los recetan, no. ya tienen ellos ahí en los cuadros los, los medicamentos que les van a dar. Tal vez, este, eh, ¿cómo podemos poner? Los doctores... Eh, Oh, es que verdad no hay necesidad tanto de decir los doctores, pero da. Pueden decirte ellos o yes, they, 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 ¿verdad? They. Para cortarlo un poco más. Pero... Exacto. Uh -huh. Ellos. Yes. Ellos Remember? verifican, verifican que, que los pacientes reciban su medicamento. Uh -huh. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Correct. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Remember that you can use your dictionary, all right? You can use everything, okay? Puedo utilizar su diccionario, whatever you need. Lo que usted necesite, puedo utilizar, okay? Hagamos uso de los recursos okay. que tenemos, okay? Yes. Okay, sería they very... Do you need help? No? Yes. Verdad que le íbamos a hacer las cinco preguntas con lo que él hace en, en su día a día en el trabajo. Yes. Yes, correct. Um, van a ser cerradas. Ah, okay. So I don't I don't need questions. I need sentences. For example, in this case. Uh, that we have Susan and Anne, and they are doctors. 
So what do they do? What do they do in the morning? I need you to describe the, the morning routine. Necesito que usted me diga la rutina de ellos en la mañana. So five <clears throat> sentences. Five sentences for each. So that means five sentences, Susan and Anne, five sentences, Raquel, and five sentences, Mario. Describiendo lo okay. que ellos hacen en su trabajo. Yo creí que lo que Johnny hacía en su trabajo. Oh, no. No. Ah, ok. No. Pues lo vamos a volver a escribir. Ajá. Ok. Yes. Yes. Here. About Susan and Anne, about Raquel, and about Mario. Do you have any question? Eh, podría hacer una, una pregunta, Susan, en um, say visit clients. Okay, so Susan and Anne visit clients. Mm -hmm. uh, clients. Clients, yes. That could be one. So Susan and Anne visit clients mm -hmm. okay very good what else what else do they do continue okay, okay. do you need help or are you okay uh, one question yes uh, five sentences for conversation about for each. Five sentences for each in this case. Per each. For, for those. No, per each. For one. Per each. Uh, five sentences, Susan and Anne, they are doctors. Five sentences, Raquel, she is a secretary. Five sentences, Mario, he is a shopping assistant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Y serían, serían solo como oraciones, teacher. Es que ya estuve una llamada de mi trabajo, por eso no mucho le. Ok, yes, just five sentences, five. Five sentences per each. So, cinco oraciones por cada uno, per each. Per each, ok, per each. Uh, solo habíamos hecho las de... Anne and Susan. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. correcto. Ah, okay. So now continue with Raquel and then with Mario. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And be careful with the third person. Okay. Do not forget about the rules, about the verb in third person with the letter S. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it's uh, Raquel or Mario, because he and she, right? So third person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need help? Shopping. How do you say in the shopping Spanish? Assistant, shopping assistant. Uh, is, is de compras, Correct. Yes. 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 Okay. Dice okay. y otra pregunta que tenemos es que digamos en por ejemplo en Susana um, um, Yes. Eh, se puede ocupar como por ejemplo en, en el sentence Susan um, um, do surgeries o sea ella no sé si o Sorry. ponerte en solo they Ajá. oh no it's okay I mean if you want to use their names perfect and if you want to use they perfect correct ah, both are correct de, de, oh, ok entonces de las dos maneras está correcto yes of course Pero digamos para, como se dice, a cortar todo, mejor poner okay. day. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Gracias, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Y, y... 
your opinions and he he take he take a dinner take a dinner no solo sería he he dinner no no sé cómo sería hey dentro de la teacher oh, hola tengo una pregunta ah, yes uh, the correct form was he take a dinner or he dinner okay um in this case uh, Brian and Irma you can say he takes dinner or he has dinner he has with the past has because it's their person all right mm -hmm. he has yes. I like more has he has yes he has dinner at HPM, digamos, que se a los ocho el pobre camarada. Igual que. <laughs> y terminamos con he go to bed at 10, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. He go. And this is all. This is all. We finish it. We finish. We finished. Okay, so. Goes. Go. The, the correct form is goes. 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 Third person. Mm -hmm. He okay. goes. Yes. He goes. And she goes is the same form. Goes. Yes. She goes. goes. She goes. All right. Yes. They take the pressure. Mm -hmm. They they take the pressure. Take the el pressure va con doble S. Yes, double S. Double S. Double double S. Yes, right. Double S. Una nota que... Toma de presión, la gente de los medicamentos. Um, eh, dan, un, dan, dan un diagnóstico. Sí, sí. Ellos brindan diagnóstico. Acá dice, they provide diagnosis. They provide. 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 Ah. They provide. ¿Cuál es dice? No. They, they provide. Diagnosis. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ok. De ahí el otro, la otra. El otro, eh, vamos a, pasamos al, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Al siguiente, que sería Raquel. Ok, next. Raquel dice, bueno, el ejemplo que ha puesto es Chisa, secretaria. Entonces vamos a ver qué hacen las secretarias. Uh -huh. Archiva. Archivan documentos. Si ella contesta el teléfono, podemos hacer como si de hours, lo que podría hacer. Si hours. Eh, es con. Office. Okay, no, correct. Cuatro. Uh, she arrives at seven at four. She eats breakfast at seven thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. She goes to the work every day. 
sería una. Correcto. Mm -hmm. Cinco, uh, five p.m. and the work. Puede ser como que fuera esa salida de su trabajo. Eh, Mario goes on Bucini strips. Sí. Ok, pronunciation. Business. Business. Business strips. Uh -huh. Business strips. Uh -huh. Very good. Business trips. Eh, el, el, quiero ver. El paga las facturas. Puede ser. No, verdad. Sí, porque es asistente de las compras. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. Él paga las facturas. Eh, he pays the bills. He sí. pays. He pays the bills. Pays. Mm -hmm. Ok. He pays yes. the bills. Ok. Si quieres, revisamos para sí, ver qué. Uh -huh. Se puede encargar de, de, del inventario del, uh -huh. de los uh -huh. materiales también. Ah, teacher, yes. eh, una consulta. Nosotros pusimos he organ, organ, no sé cómo se dice que él, es, él organiza. Organizes. Ah, he organizes the bills. Ok. Pero invoices tiene factura invoices, también. Yes. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Ok. So, in this case, the invoice, the invoice is el recibo. Oh. Recibo. Recibo. Y the bill es eh, factura. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh, Ok, pero... Ajá. Está bien, yo creo que está más correcto el bill. Yes. Sí. Ok. Teacher, nosotros hicimos tres de cada uno, pero no sé si dije que eran más. Well, uh, five, but if you have three already, it's ok. Did you finish? Sí. Yeah. Tres de cada uno es diez. Ok. Okay, I, I want to listen. Okay. Susan, now they are doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, one, Susan, um, um, do surgeries. 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 Uh, two, they give vaccination. Oh. No sé cómo se... Vaccination. Vaccination. Yes. Oh, vaccination. Three, Susan and Anne take the pressures. Pressures. Susan and Anne take pressure, okay? Que toman la presión. Yeah, they take uh, the pressure. Okay. Ah, the pre okay, pressure. Sí. Entonces she sería received... a pressures, no el de. No, the pressure. Ah, the pressure. Yes, the pressure. Okay. Suleyma? The secretary, she receives calls. Okay. She takes order. Yes. She makes reports. 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 Excellent, very good. Okay, the third person, excellent, yes. Next. Mario, he's shopping assistant. Okay, he is a okay. shopping assistant, okay? He does the shopping. Okay, yes. He speaks with the 
supers. Okay, he speak or he speaks? He speaks Excellent. with the suppers. Yes. Uh, um, he organized the bills. Yes. He organizes, organizes. Okay. Organizes. Yes. Organizes. Yes. The bill. Yes. At S. At S. Le faltaron los puntos en cada sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Now let's order this together. Number one, unscramble, unscramble the sentence. Um, do you who often go to the gym? Mm, okay. Oh, no, sorry. Sería cierto. Do you go the? No, sí, sí, sí. No. Oh, so porque es who de, de pregunta, ¿verdad? Ah. How, how, how often how often do you go to the gym excellent how often do you go to the gym very good number two uh, i i go to the gym hardly ever okay i oh. go to the gym hardly ever or i hardly ever go to the gym Okay. okay, number three. Um, how often does your teacher drink coffee? Excellent. How often does your teacher drink coffee? Number four. She drinks coffee every day. Perfect. Five. When do you usually watch TV? Yes. Six. We, we watch TV in the sometime in the evenings. Evenings. Evening. Evenings. Evenings. Excellent. Yes, evening. Fines de semana. No, Ara. No. Evenings, tarde. Tarde, noche. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven. Um, sería, what, what do you, your friends do on the weekends? Yes, and the last one. Sería, they relax usually on the beach. Okay, they usually relax, relax. on the beach. Yes. Exactly. Okay, let me call you back, okay, to the main session. Okay, I'm going to call you back. Give me one second, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so what can you tell me about Susan and Anne routine, Irma? Susan and Anne, what do they do? They get, get up at uh, 4 a.m. Okay. The breakfast at 4, 12, 12, 13 a.m. Oh, they have breakfast at what time? Yes. At what time? 4, 30, no sé cómo. Oh, 4, 30. 30. A.m. 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second... 5 a.m. Okay, they leave home at 5 a.m. They drive for one hour. Okay, they drive. Drive. Drive for one hour, okay. They get to work 6 a.m. They get to work at 6 a.m. Okay. At 
perfect. Thank you, Irma. Brian, what can you tell me about Mario? Uh, Mario, he get up at 7 a.m. He, he get up break or five. he gets? He gets up. Porque esa es la persona, ¿verdad? Yes, correct. He gets up at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. He breakfast at 7.30 a.m. He has breakfast. Tiene el has antes del breakfast. Yes, he has. Okay. Entonces, en los demás es similar, digamos, como he has leave home. No. Okay. So, has, remember, Brian, que desayunar, almorzar o cenar puede ser have breakfast, have lunch, or have dinner. But third person, para terceras personas, has. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next, he, he leaves home to H I M. Oh, he lives home at? At, at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay, thank you, Brian. Marco, what can you tell me about Raquel? Raquel, she's secretary. Um, she's about to work. Uh, a a i a i am. She write documents. Oh, she, okay. She write or she writes. She writes. Okay. Documents. Okay. Um. She prepares coffee. Okay. She prepare or she prepares. Coffee. She prepares. Excellent. Very good. She pre she res Recites, receives yeah, receives calls okay thank you marco okay um okay franklin what can you tell us about mario okay eh, para Mario sería Mario help a people in the shopping y at 7 a.m. Okay, at, Mario help or Mario helps? Helps. Excellent. Okay. Singular. Yes. Eh, helps and shopping at 7 a.m. at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Uh, the same product at 9 p.m. Oh, receive uh, or receives? Save. Oh, save. Oh, okay. 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 Save. Okay. Save. Save or save? Save, pro save singular. Save. Muchos products. Saves. El verbo va en tercera persona, Franklin. Okay, saves, mm -hmm. saves products mm -hmm. at 9 a.m. 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 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, Mario receive products. Receives products at uh, 10 a.m. 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 Mm -hmm. e, e, Mario is Charles is uh, 20, 22 o'clock. Is cajero. Mario is child. Oh, a cashier? 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 Uh, the, 11, no me acuerdo cómo se. 11. 11 at eh, y 12. Oh, okay. So from 11 a.m. to 12 o'clock. From, from 12 o'clock. A.m. to 12 o'clock. Okay, here's okay. the cashier. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, now let's 
unscrambled sentences. Number one, please, Irma, number one. Well, how do you go upstairs to the gym? Mm -hmm. Again, are you sure? Um, no. Well, how? How? How upstairs? Do do you go? Do you go? Do you go to the gym? Perfect. How often do you go to the gym? Yvette, too. I go hardly ever to the gym. I hardly ever go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay. okay. Number three, Liliana. How often your teacher does drink coffee? Okay, go again, Liliana. How often? How often does your teacher drink coffee? Yes. How often does your teacher drink coffee? Jose, number four. She drinks coffee every day. Yes. Number five, Erika. When, when do you usually watch TV? Okay. When do you usually watch TV? Okay, perfect. Number six, please, uh, Christian. Christian? Number six. We sometimes watch TV in the evening. Evenings. Evenings. Number seven, please, uh, Suleyma. Number seven. Yes. Okay. Do no, what do you friend do on the ¿cómo se pronuncia? weekends? Weekends, yes, perfect. What do your friends do on the weekends? Number eight, please, Tanya. Uh, they usually relax on the beach, on the beach, okay, perfect. Attendance. I'm going to take attendance again, okay? So let's see. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Cristian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Okay. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Siliesar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Present. Thank you. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Ok. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Ok. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Ok, Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Thank you. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. Yes, ok. 
Now let's move and let's go to telling the time. Telling the time. Okay. So we have different times of the day. Okay. So we have midnight, which is medianoche, noon, tarde, mediodía, right? Noon, sunrise, amanecer, yes, amanecer, sunset, atardecer, okay? Yes, sunrise, amanecer, sunrise. Sunset, atardecer. Now, we have morning, afternoon, evening, and night. So let me ask you something. What is before night? Before morning. Morning? Morning or afternoon? Morning. What before is night is morning or, or before night? No. Before is uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, what is before night? Antes, antes de la noche. What is before night? Morning. Morning. Sunset. Sunset. Okay. Before night, we have the sunset. Okay, very good. Now, which part of the day is 11 p.m.? Which part of the day? Midnight. Midnight, midnight 11 p.m., midnight or night? Night. 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 Midnight is medianoche, okay? 11 p.m. is night. And what is between? What is between morning and evening? What is between morning and evening? Between, in the middle. Sunset afternoon. Sunset afternoon? No. Sunset no. afternoon? No. Yes. Correct, both. Okay, now number four. Which part of the day is 9 a.m.? Morning. Perfect. Morning. And what time, what yes. time is noon? Uh, 12. 12. Very good. And what is the name for the time the when time the sun the goes post. down? The sun goes down. Uh, the sunset. Yes, the sun goes down. The sunset. The sunset. Okay. El atardecer. El sol se oculta. Goes down. Okay. And what time is midnight? Twelve. Eleven p.m. Okay, 12, okay. Now, what is the name for the time when the sun comes up? Sunrise. Sunrise. When the sun comes up, el amanecer, sunrise. Comes up, el sol sale. The sun comes up, el sol se oculta. The sun goes down. Okay, very good. So now, what time is it? How, how can we talk about the time? How, how? Okay, so different questions to ask for the time, guys. What are some examples? Um, Tanya, help us reading the questions. Help us reading the questions. ¿Cómo podemos pedir la hora, Tania? Help us reading the questions. Eh, 
what time is... Paquito, ya fui. Ya. Okay. Don't worry. What time is it? Okay. What time is it? What else? Number two. What is the time? What is the time? Number three, Jocelyn. Um, do you have the time? Yes. Number four. Do you know what time is it? Perfect. Do you know what time is it? Number uh, five. Could you talk many times, please? Okay. Repeat after me. Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Could you? Could you? Tell me? Tell me? The time, please? The time, please? Now? Ahora seguido. Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Perfect. Very good. Yes. Thank now, you. the last one. And do you happen to have the time? Okay. Now, repeat after me. Do you happen to have the time? Do you happen to have the time? Yes. Thank you. All of those questions, guys, all of those questions, all of them mean que hora es. The most common one is what time is it? That is the most common one. And how can we answer? If I ask you what time is it? Oh, well, it is, what time is it right now? What time is it? Oh, it's 9.48. It's 9.48. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see. Let's continue and I'm going to show you something. Okay, right here. What time is it? When the time is exactly on the hour, we use a clock. A clock and punto. So for example, as you see right here, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock and punto. Or, or you can say, it's 12. Both are correct. It's 12 o'clock or it's 12. Both are correct. Okay. Not those. Perfect. Now, what about this one? What time is it? What time is it? Here, it is or it's the contraction. It's Four thirty. Four thirty, or it's half past hour. It's half past four. Number two. It's 2.30. It's half past two. It's like saying 30 minutos pasan de las dos. But the most common one, la más común, it's 2.30. Dos y treinta. That's the most common one. But if you want to say, si usted quiere decir, right? 30 minutos pasan de las dos. It's half past two. 30 minutos pasan de las cuatro. It's half past four. Or simple. Okay, simple. 
it's 4.30, it's 2.30. Okay, now, what about this one? It's 4.45, 4.45. Okay, just one second. It's 4.45. Now, it's quarter to five. 15 minutos para las cinco. To five. Yes, Jocelyn. Eh, una pregunta, teacher. En la, en la diapositiva que pasó an, en one? la tercera, en esta. Yes. En, la, en las respuestas que dice que... Eh, están las preguntas, vea cómo se pregunta la hora. Yes. Entonces, y están las que están a las pares, son todas esas son las, la manera en la que se puede responder o, o para cada pregunta hay una en específico. Very good. So, um, those are some examples of answers. Son ejemplos como de respuestas que usted puede dar. For example, okay, for example, if I ask you right now, si yo ahorita le pregunto, Jocelyn, what time is it? It's six. Uh, it's it, it is uh, nine. Night. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Okay. So what time is it? It's nine fifty-two. Now, if I ask you, hey, do you have the time? Sure. Sure. Uh, it, it is 9.52. Uh -huh. So okay. those are examples. Son ejemplos, ¿ok? De respuestas ah, okay. que se puede decir. ¿Ok? So, okay. yo le pregunto, do you have the time? Yo solo le puedo decir, do you have the time? Uh, yes, it's 9.52. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. It's not mandatory. No es mandatorio que conteste así, como es. Okay. Now, for example, if someone asks you, do you have the time or what time is it? You said, no anda su uh, reloj. Hello. So, sorry, sorry, I am I not am... wearing a watch. Okay. Sorry, I am not wearing a watch. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank Inside. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, if someone asks you, what time is it? Son exactamente las 9.50. It's exactly 9.50. Mm -hmm. About, alrededor, cuando uno como que calcula, right? It's about 9.52. Ok, tal vez usted no se puede como el, los numeritos, ¿verdad? Y uno dice, mm, son como las 9.50, dicen, right? So it's about 9.50. Uh -huh. Now, almost, casi. Ok, son casi la una. It's almost 1 p.m. Or 1 a.m., depends, right? It depends. Y como para decir un cuarto a las seis o algo así, para no decir, eh, se puede quarter to six o algo así. Yes, correct, like that. It's quarter to six. Un cuarto a las, a las seis. It's quarter to six. Uh -huh. El two es como para, right? Un cuarto para las. Seis. El past es que 15 minutos pasan de tal hora. 15 minutos pasan de la uno, de la una. Right. It's quarter past one. Mm -hmm. Like that. Obviously, uh, some people, they like to tell the time like this. Algunas personas les gusta decir así la hora. But there are others that they do not like this way. Hay otras que no les gusta decirlo de esa manera, que van directo a la hora. Okay? 
12 a pm, 12 o'clock. Una y uno, 101. Yes? So, it's your choice. At the end, es su elección, como usted quiere decir la hora. Ok. Uh -huh. Now, of course, we are going to keep practicing the time, but because of the time right now, because it's already 9.56, Okay, so we're going to just um, practice with this. Okay, before we go, before we go. What time is it? Number one, what time is it? It's 10, Siri. Uh-huh, it's 10, 30. Correct. It's 10, 30. Now, number two. It's eight o'clock. Very good. What about number three? It's seven o'clock. Number four? It's eleven o'clock. Very good. What about number five? It's one, twice, one, thirty. Uh-huh, one, thirty. What about number six? It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay. What about seven? It's nine, thirty. Nine, thirty, okay. And what about this one? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you see, tomorrow we are going to practice, but with this. Okay. With this, with this type of, of vocabulary, but tomorrow. Okay. So then, right now, let's uh, just finish with the following. Okay. Well, this one, we already covered this one. And we're going to cover prepositions of time tomorrow. But please, please read this. Read this. Lea esto en su tiempo libre. Tomorrow, we are going to start with this. Prepositions of time. Preposiciones de tiempo. Okay? Just for you to know, we use at, on, and in. So, teacher, ¿y por qué utilizamos uh, antes de la hora at? Porque es la regla que tenemos que seguir. At two o'clock. Teacher, ah, por eso no decimos in the night. Porque es at night. Correct. Mire. This is the rule. Esta es la regla. So, tomorrow, please read this. And tomorrow we are going to start with this information. Okay. Do you have any question before we go? Questions? Preguntas de la clase del día de ahora? Questions? Now? Okay, so just remember, remember that you need to complete the midterm evaluation. Que no se le olvide. Las evaluaciones. Complétenlas. Please. Okay? So uh, right now we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. The only one that please stay, Jose. Jose, please stay, okay? We have the feedback today. Perfect, okay, so the other ones, you may go to sleep. Thank you for being responsible and I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Take care, take care. Teacher. Yes. Me podría enviar el link de las tareas al chat porque yo no me conecté ayer y no me aparece. El link de las tareas. Sí, de esta semana. Ah, eh, usted necesita esto. Se lo voy a mostrar en este momento. Usted neces... Decía que como ayer no estuve en la clase. Ah, ¿usted necesita esto? Eh, sí, pero yo le doy en el día y no me carga nada. 
en el día. Perdón, es que las tareas están en la plataforma del acceso que nos dieron de, de corporativo. Es que no me acuerdo de la contraseña, pero ya voy a ver cómo ingreso. Ok, vaya. Entonces, si no se acuerda de la contraseña, puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp y mandar pues eh, su nombre completo y mencionar que no se recuerda de su contraseña y que ellos la, claro. lo puedan apoyar para que las haga. Pero que también puede recuperarla. Ajá. Va, ya voy a ver cómo, cómo la logro hacer para hacerles. Ok. Ok, Chris. Gracias. Ok, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Um, okay, Jose. So let me ask you, Jose, how are you? How do you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, yeah. Jose. So today I need you to actually tell me everything, okay, about how you feel with the classes, okay, uh, with the homework. Um, basically, you can use Spanish and English, okay? Um, just this time, solamente esta vez vamos a utilizar como inglés y español, como usted se sienta más cómodo con lo del feedback, okay? Solamente por esta vez, porque es el primero que tenemos, all right? Okay. So, Jose, quiero que me eh, diga cómo se siente con las clases, con las tareas, con el proceso de aprendizaje que estamos llevando, con las actividades que estamos teniendo. Eh, quiero escuchar cómo se siente, Jose. Pues eh, siento que las clases sí son bastante completas. Eh, quizás sienten un poquito extenso el horario porque creo que también estamos trabajando. Tener el trabajo un poco cansado. Eh, en mi caso también estoy estudiando, entonces salgo corriendo el trabajo a la universidad y a la universidad salgo corriendo para terminar mi clase. Uh -huh. Estoy siendo un poco extenso, como que la jornada diaria, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero sí hay muchas cositas que tal vez nos las enseñan en el transcurso que de básica a bachillerato que nos dan unas clases de inglés. Sí. Pero que quizás pasamos por alto. Pero hay muchas palabras nuevas que también se van aprendiendo mientras va avanzando el curso, ¿verdad? Claro que sí. Entonces, sí siento que es un curso bastante completo. Ok. Ahora. Y siento que también la dinámica es bastante buena. Ok. Ok. ¿Y cómo se siente con las actividades que hemos hecho? Es decir, con las tareas, con los exámenes, con la plataforma. ¿Ha tenido dificultad con la plataforma? No, la plataforma de hecho es bastante amigable. Y los ejercicios y las prácticas que están, siento que tampoco están como que muy complicados. Uh -huh. eh, también era como que la respuesta correcta si uno se equivoca. ¿verdad? Entonces, como de cierta manera funciona pues como un repaso también. Ok, ok. Ahora, eh, ¿cuál es lo, su objetivo más que todo de aprender el idioma? Eh, fíjense que por el área de trabajo en la que yo me he desarrollado mayormente, uh -huh. siento que es una buena oportunidad, creo que me abriría también otras puertas para uh -huh. seguir creciendo laboralmente. Okay. Actualmente, eh, ¿cuál es su profesión, José? Eh, fíjense que ahorita estoy ejerciendo como bodeguero. Okay. Ahorita soy como que un estudiante, no tengo un título como tal. Uh -huh. okay. eh, pero en el transcurso de mi vida es trabajado más que nada como en el área de distribución y logística. Perfecto. Entonces siento que en el área es bastante como un plus, ¿verdad? Poder hablar el idioma inglés. Claro que sí. Ok. Y con la dinámica de la clase, cuando los mandamos a los oh. salones, ¿cómo se siente con sus compañeros? ¿Ha podido practicar? Eh... Sí, de hecho hay algunos compañeros que sí son bastante dinámicos. Eh... Soy de la mentalidad que no todas las personas aprendemos al mismo ritmo. Hay Correcto. personas que se les dificulta un poco. Y se comprende, ¿verdad? Es algo nuevo para muchas personas. Sí. Eh, de hecho, para mí también es algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Sí tenemos como que la idea, pero hay como que cositas en las que si uno no lo conoce, pues son como trabas. Sí. Y son como que retos que hay que ir como que superando. Uh -huh. 
y ya había estudiado el idioma antes. En eh, un curso como tal, no. Simplemente lo básico que nos dan en el bachillerato, básico. Ok, ok. Vale, perfecto. Bueno, entonces le comparto mi feedback hacia usted. Eh, bien, José, eh, primero que nada, pues lo felicito, ¿verdad? Porque eh, básicamente, pues, usted es uno de los estudiantes que más participa, ¿verdad? Y que se le ve, pues, eh, el, el entusiasmo, ¿verdad? De aprender y también, pues, se puede observar que usted tiene un poquito, tal vez, de conocimiento en las cosas que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Y... Pues básicamente lo que me gusta también es que cuando entro siempre al salón, siempre está practicando, ¿verdad? Siempre está hablando con su compañero y esto es muy importante, ya que al momento de enviarlos a los salones, el objetivo es ese, que se sientan un poco más cómodos, ¿verdad? Y que puedan participar como no se puede hacer si los tuviéramos a todos juntos en un mismo salón. Eh, porque participaría nada más una vez, quizás, ¿verdad? Entonces, el objetivo Perfecto. es que participe durante el mayor tiempo posible de la clase, ¿verdad? Y cuando yo he entrado a los salones, pues lo veo que está practicando, participando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es muy importante. Eh, también, pues, invitarlo a que, por favor, cuando usted esté en, la, en, las, en los salones con sus compañeros, trate de hablar el idioma inglés. ¿Sí? Trate de hablarlo, okay. eh, trate de, eh, aunque no, tal vez no podamos tener una conversación grande en este momento, pero que por lo menos ciertas cosas sí se digan en inglés, porque así su compañero también está viendo, ah, José está utilizando inglés, pues yo también, ¿verdad? Ajá, así que no hay de otra, ¿verdad? Tengo que yo también utilizar el idioma. Entonces, tal vez eh, esa sería un, una observación y más que todo una invitación porque yo sé que usted puede entablar, aunque sea una conversación en este momento con su compañero, ¿verdad? Lo puede hacer, puede tener como la iniciativa para que su compañero diga, José está hablando, yo tengo que también, ¿verdad? Entonces, a invitarlo para que usted empiece a hacer eso también cuando estemos en los breakout rooms, de igual manera cuando usted se conecte, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre en inglés, good evening, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues eh, mi feedback para usted es súper positivo porque me gusta bastante que siempre que se conecta, a pesar que usted pues mismo me dice, sí, teacher, dice que mi horario es un poco cansado y siento bien extenso, pero yo le agradezco que se, se conecte, ¿verdad? Cuando usted no se ha podido conectar, usted me ha avisado y creo que eso es muy importante también la responsabilidad y yo creo que usted es muy responsable. Así que antes que nada, pues se le agradece la responsabilidad que tiene al conectarse a sus clases y la disposición también que se le nota que a pesar del cansancio que pueda tener, está pues ahí, ¿verdad? Está conectado. Sí, entonces eso es muy importante y pues básicamente eh, siga así, no pierda la motivación, ¿verdad? Ya que el inglés, como usted mismo lo mencionó, sí abre muchas puertas y es esencial ahora en día en cualquier lugar es muy esencial y por supuesto que le va a abrir muchísimas puertas en el área que usted se quiere desenvolver. Eso no hay duda. ¿Okay? Entonces me alegra mucho que eh, pues eh, sienta la dinámica de la clase bien, ¿verdad? que esté aprendiendo, que la plataforma no le dé ningún problema. ¿verdad? Eso me alegra bastante. Cualquier duda, cualquier comentario, ¿verdad? sabe que lo puede hacer saber. De igual manera, si necesita mi ayuda en algún tema de los que hemos visto que no está claro, también me puede comentar, ¿verdad? Y decirme, yo con gusto le explico. Y pues, eh, eso, ¿verdad? No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, algo más que mencionar. Eh, no, creo que por el momento estamos bien. De hecho, eh, hay algunas personas que han tenido dudas, trato de contarlo también por mi parte. Ok. Para que vaya quedando un poquito más claro. Sí. Bye. Con las entidades, sí, creo que no he hecho ahorita las que llevábamos en esta semana. Creo okay. que ya mañana, como dije. Bye, perfecto, José. Entonces, un gusto, ¿ok? Así que espero que pase buenas noches. Cuídese, and I'll see you back tomorrow, ¿ok? Thank you. Thank you. Good bye, night. bye. See you. Good night.